balance in our personal sanctuaries. Yes. Hi, Shy. Hey, guys. All right, so how how are we doing this? Where do we start? Dresser. Have space to have symmetry. Yes. That's usually where people go for a bedroom. And I can understand that because they want to have exactly the same on both sides of the bed. But what do you do in smaller spaces? So let's look at what we've done here. Everything here is from our friends at IKEA, of course. And then, of course, let's start off with mattresses. One, I laid on it. I might not get up. Ways in which to choose the correct coloring in furniture also when we talk about that. So there are ways the white oak. Yep. But then on that side, we have the white oak top, but then that sage kind of color in the base of it. So even though this is visually heavier and scale-wise and proportion-wise has a larger size, that has a, uh, a greater visual weight because of the coloring in it. Okay. So it then balances that way. This is all very, you know, when we think about interior design, everybody always thinks we only talk about the fun stuff, like the decor and the pretty stuff. But there is a science to the stuff that we do. It has that sage color in the fabric as well. And then again, it balances it. Now, in every space, you want to have something that is a darker color or a black because that is going to... Have we talked shapes? Let's talk... We, absolutely, let's talk shapes. So, you know, smaller smaller spaces, when we're talking about condos and, and find, really, you'll always get it right at home as well. There is a science. There is a science to it. There is. <laughs> Thank you, Shai. You're welcome. All right. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're now moving into the living room. Canadian OBGYN Dr. Jen Gunter has been dubbed the Internet's gynecologist for debunking myths around women's health. She's out with a new book. Here it is here, dispelling shame and misinformation around periods. It's called Blood and Dr. Jen for yourself. And I know you experienced heavy period when you were, particularly when you were younger. Yeah. Um, fortunately, I mean, I got have been blessed that my, so many of my girlfriends. It's it's been it's been a rough go over the years. Uh, you is this what kind of prompted this is this the motivation behind it a bit well needed now is that why you wrote it yeah I mean it's it's sad that it's needed now I mean we have future because what I've seen with my kids and their friends very open about talking about periods with mixed generations it's it's it is, I'm so glad I, I'm gonna st I'll stop saying that I've I'm such a fool yeah that's a big mess <laughs> where did we come up with that I don't, sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. I don't know where that came from. Oh my goodness. I remember my <laughs> university girlfriends. We all, there's been a lot of uh, talking, which is great. Yeah, but. but trust me, live TV, we've all been there, yes. <laughs> uh, where do you, I mean, you talk about it so much. I mean, this is a natural bodily function. Uh, where do you feel the stigma and, and shame began? I think it's been here forever. Since, you know, it's story very quickly because I know we're running out of time, but I remember Disney, I, I was at Disney World and this is a time when we didn't have products out because it's a very new thing. Right. And I remember washing my pants in the toilet. Right. Because I had no alternative. <laughs> Everybody's got a story like yes. that. Yes. And wouldn't it be better if people didn't have to have those stories? Yes, 100%. And But I do feel it. I see it. I feel it. Right. Mm -hmm. Changes I, upon us. I, we, are, we are moving in the right direction and keeping the conversation going is the best way to get there. And here how we are. This is how we're. All right. That is it for us today. Coming up on the show tomorrow, Aaron O'Brien is here. Friday, Junior. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.